Hello, Sanford, and welcome to another exciting edition of Beck's Bench. I'm Beck Taylor. Well, it's March, and in the world of college basketball, that means that the madness is about to begin. March Madness. And all of us have hopes that our men's and women's teams will make a run in the big dance. Today, we're set up at the Sanford Athletics Hall of Fame, located on the third floor of the Pete Hanna Center. In fact, this spring, we will be inducting our sixth class into the Hall of Fame. And who knows, perhaps our guest for today's episode will one day receive that call. Of course, I'm talking about Andrea Bailey, guard on our women's basketball team, and Quez Glover, who plays on the men's squad. Well, Andrea, Quez, great to have you on Beck's Bench. Thanks for joining us today. So we're at the end of the SOCON season. What an arduous, competitive season we've seen. How do you guys get through the daily grind of the season? Andrea, how do you get through a season like the one you've just come through? Daily grind. Uh, well, you know, it's just, I think you really have to rely on the people around you. Um, day in and day out, you know, you're doing things consistently. You're going through practices and uh, eating the same meals. You know, it's, just, it's, like I said, it's pretty consistent. So just rely on my teammates, rely on my coaches to have my back. And, um, you know, it, it becomes difficult at the end of the season, you know, you start feeling it, your body starts to hurt, and so just making sure you're taking care of yourself and, again, just rely on the people that, you know, have your back. Routine, formula, Quez, do you have something like that that gets you through the grind of the season? Uh, yeah, you know, we, we always hang out together as a team. Some of the guys, we get together, play video games and go out to eat. I feel like that kind of kind of helps us get through the hard part of the season just because we're having fun as well. Yeah, it's great. Well, we're so impressed with what you do on the court. You know I'm a big fan. We're all big fans of our basketball teams here at Sanford. But we're just as excited, maybe even more excited, about what you guys do off the court. Uh, in the classroom, you're both working for a degree. You're serving in our community. Quiz, talk a little bit about how you manage um, to hold down studies and a competitive basketball schedule at the same time? Uh, I've been doing it my whole life, so it's kind of getting easier as I get older, just with time management and stuff like that. And my mom, she's always on me, making sure I do my schoolwork, and my dad's on me about doing the basketball stuff. So just having them in my corner and keeping me motivated for both things really helps me. Yeah, awesome. Andrea, how about you? I, mean, I think it's, you know, same thing. Uh, I'm a fifth year senior, so I've had lots of practice with it. And so just making sure, like, I have a routine and I have a schedule. I try to think I try to plan things out in advance and so it helps me stay on top of things for sure. Yeah. You guys both play guard. Uh, you're kind of the floor generals, if you will, for your teams. Uh, how do you view yourselves as leaders? What do you what are you able to do on your teams that lift people up when they need to be lifted up, maybe scold them a little bit yeah. when they need to be need to be scolded? Andrea, how do you see yourself as a leader on the women's basketball team? You know, I think it comes with practice and experience. Um, like I said, I've been playing for a while and so that definitely helps, um, but just trying to go out there and, and be encouraging and be uplifting. I think sometimes I can be too <laughs> scolding, so I've had to work on that, but uh, just like I said, trying to encourage them, especially because this year we have a, a really young team. And so, um, you know, letting them know that mistakes are okay and like they're gonna happen and helping them learn through that. Yeah, Quiz, how do you lead your team? Uh, I'm, I'm real emotional on the court, so I try to, like huddle them up and try to make them laugh and try to not be as serious with them just so it's not always like overbearing because we have coaches on them and the players on them. So I just try to be more of a funny guy. Yeah. yeah. And stuff like that. You both talked about the grind of the season. Both of you have dealt with injuries this season. That's not uncommon in a, l a long season. Um, our non-student athletes, they're dealing with setbacks too, <laughs> right? We all yeah. deal with setbacks. Andrew, what are some of the strategies that you use when things don't go quite the way you want them to maybe you're dealing with an injury yeah. or something like that how do you see through that to press on um i think for me i you know i have a relationship with the lord so personally i just try to lean on that and uh, you know go go through scripture and uh pray and also i just like again lean on my teammates um you know if they have people that they're close with just lean on them and you know talk about it i think uh definitely helps to get it off your chest um, yeah, I think at the end of the day, you're gonna you're gonna push through it, be resilient, and just keep working on whatever it is that you're struggling with. Quiz, what would you tell students who are dealing with their own kinds of setbacks? Uh, pray. Uh, I prayed a lot to get through mine, and I feel like leaning on family members and close friends will also help you through tough times as well. 
So this weekend, SOCON tourneys, I know both of your teams are rare and to go. Quez, what would it mean for the men's basketball team to punch your ticket to March Madness this year? Uh, it'll mean a lot. You know, we've been here since June working and, you know, getting prepared for this season. Last year we put in a lot of work and then this year we've been here watching film, practicing, having a lot of weight room sessions. I just feel like it'll be very amazing for them. I mean, I agree. Uh, you know, there's nothing better than winning. and. We have a pretty young team, and so I think it would mean a lot for the program, and especially them coming up. We could win, you know, win a few games in a row. Um, this is it for me, and so I just I want to go out with a bang. And we I want you to go out with a bang yeah. too. Yeah, <laughs> and so this is it. Last you know, last chance to get to the NCAA tournament. So yeah. looking well, forward to it. Well, how great would it be for both of you to return to campus at the end of next weekend, not with one, yeah. but with two SoCon championships. That'd be fantastic. Nothing better. <laughs> yeah, that's great. We're so proud of both of you for what you represent on the court, off the court. Thanks for being great Bulldogs. Yeah, God you. bless you both. And yes, it is SoCon tournament time. Games begin this weekend. And if you've never been to Asheville, North Carolina, there's no better excuse to go than to cheer on the Bulldogs and see the SOCON basketball tournament up close and personal. Well, that's it for this edition of Beck's Bench. Our next episode drops on April the 3rd, so no need to worry about any April Fool's jokes. I promise it will all be true. Until next time, I'm Beck Taylor, and as always, go Bulldogs.